Guys, so today I'm here at Warwick Castle, which is in Shakespeare County, and I cannot wait because this is their summer at Warwick Castle, which means they have two awesome things happening today. One is their War of the Roses jousting tournament, which I am so excited to see. I watched the Knight's Tale last night and I got really in the mood for some jousting. And two is Dragon Slayer, and I am obsessed with anything about dragons in fantasy, and I cannot wait. But come with me on a tour of Warwick Castle today and their summer season. I would highly recommend coming to Warwick Castle if you ever get get the chance because it's a full day for all the family there's lots of shows entertainment of course you've got lots of history to learn and then cover as well so yeah come on a tour with me of Warwick Castle I cannot wait it is a park for all the families so you have a lot of cool stuff they've got a new zog maze or play park that you can do horrible histories maze obviously i'm going to go to one of my favorite attractions first and that is kingmaker this is all about a uh, warwick um and i can't wait to do it i absolutely love this one it's always been a favorite of mine into Kingmaker. Ah! remember about Kingmaker is the fact that it sticks a horse in here. It has a really distinctive smell and it always brings me back to when I used to come here as a kid. So cool. Anyway.
glad I prioritized some of the indoor attractions in the morning because they get really, really hot in there. And the sun's just about to come out, so I think by midday, the inside of the castle is just going to be roasting. <laughs> so I'm heading up the Conqueror's Tower now and to get a good view of the castle. to the top of the Conqueror's Tower now, which has great views over Warwick Town, the castle, and of course the tourney grounds, where you can see the jousting later. So yeah, really worth coming up to the Conqueror's Tower. Many people miss it. They go up to Guy's Tower first, definitely come up to this tower as well. It's one of the world's biggest trebuchets here, and usually they have a trebuchet show. I actually love it, but at the moment it's not running. Okay, so here you can see the trebuchet and the tourney grounds, where we're gonna be watching the jousting or War of the Roses live later. Jousting or War of the Roses takes place between 12 and also again at 3. So I think I'm going to go see the 12 o'clock showing and get myself an early seat. I cannot wait to see well, this. As a jousting show, they have a Birds of Prey show. It is absolutely incredible as well. And that takes place, I think, about one every day and then four every day. So definitely, if you're coming to or at Castle for the Day, plan your day out. Make sure that you prioritise the shows. You want to get to the seating areas around half an hour before to make sure you have the best seats. Um, because if you turn up on time, you'll find you're probably either standing at the back um, or you just don't get a good yeah, view. I'm so heading to the jousting arena now for War of the Roses Live. I am so excited about this. So yeah, let's try and get back a good view. Right, right, right. 
the War of the Roses show was absolutely fabulous so if you do come to Warwick Castle in summer you have to prioritise seeing this show as I told you before get here about half an hour earlier to get a good seat but I would not miss this for the world it is honestly one of the best shows I've seen at Warwick Castle so Jousting, and we're heading into the Croft Cafe, which is beneath the castle. And I hope it's not going to be too hot, but they have lots of food, and I've heard that it's set in the cloisters. So I'm really excited to go and check out what food they do. I think.
garden over at Castle. And look, there's three peacocks all in a row sitting on the hedgerows here. How perfect is this? And if you come around, you've got this gorgeous fountain and a greenhouse behind you. Falcon's Quest is going to be my last show of the day. I cannot wait. It's such an amazing show. show and I would 100% recommend watching it. It's called The Falconer's Quest um, and I would definitely recommend the last one of the day because the earlier one is a bit busier. But yeah, definitely have a look at that when you're here. The birds fly literally right by your head and over your head. It is absolutely incredible and there's lots of rare birds. They do lots of breeding programs to help these birds. It was absolutely fabulous. But nearing closing time here at Warwick Castle today. I have had the best time. It has been such a magical day as always here. The shows are always fabulous and that War of the Roses show honestly was incredible. So was the Falconer's Quest, so definitely see those. I'm going to be going to watch Dragon Slayer later but they don't let you stay in the castle. 
until that happens you do have to leave and then come back had an absolutely magical time and i hope you've enjoyed this video so if you have please subscribe for more magic i'm heading um, back to my car now um but yeah come and tune in for my dragon slayer video which is going to be coming up next Thank you.